Hi, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. I'm PJ from PhotoshopBus.co.uk, and I'm going to show you how to use the Star Trails rotation action that ships with CS5 and CS6 as default. To get to them, you open up your Actions palette, which is Actions. It normally sits with the History palette. And if you come to the flyer, you can choose Star Trails, and then you can um, add them to your collection. So let's just do that. So your stars, trails, actions opens, you pull down the squarely and you go to star trails rotation. Now you need to, first of all you need a set of stars so you can uh, make them yourself, they're pretty easy to make or you can get an image uh, off the net or wherever. So this is the image I'm going to apply it to and I want this foliage down here to be really dark and I can see that it's a little bit green there which I don't want so the sky is fine, I want that pretty light um, so I'm going to get my quick selection tool and I'm just going to go over it like that I'm going to get a black paintbrush maybe take down the side size increase the hardness well maybe not so hard and then I'm just going to paint in a little bit down here to make that darker that's fine perhaps okay fine control D to deselect so we've got our image that we're going to work with I'm going to work with 800 by 600 so image image size 800 by 672 uh, pixels per inch is the resolution now I've got the stars image and I'm going to open that in camera raw, camera raw first and um, I've set these up, let me just uh, reset um, reset camera walk. right so this is how the image started and basically I wanted to bring out the stars and remove all that horrible um, blurry black coloured black so uh, come to the blacks and I kind of pulled that down and then just brought up the clarity a little bit to bring out some of the cut colours up to clarity and the saturation so clarity vibrance and saturation um, that's probably fine so open image if you click on this little blue mark here you can choose to open it as a smart object um, we don't need to so I'm just going to do open image it will open it in Photoshop let me go to the image size and it's 800 by 600 which is fine and then we're going to apply the action so we're on star trails rotation we can close this is mini bridge by the way that I've got open you can get that by window extensions cooler mini bridge if we want so we can close that so close, close tab group we're going to press play the little play sign down here now you have to do this in a separate document and then bring it into the document you want to use because this action will flatten all your layers so we'll press play and let that do its thing. Okay, so there's our stars. Now they're probably a little bit um, bigger than we want. This demonstration. So we'll get our move tool. We'll drag it up to the document we want to use it on. Bring it down. Hold down Shift, and it will land dead center. Now we need to blend this. So we're going to first change the blend mode to screen. And now to get rid of all this on the foliage, because obviously we don't want these stars. Um, to be um, showing on foliage because the foliage would be actually blocking the stars now so let's open it and we come to the underlying layer to the darks and we want to bring that forward so we move now this is going to come forward very quick I don't want to come that much perhaps 5 and then hold down alt just get the side of the slider and move that in so we get a nice soft transition okay and then we can bring down the opacity if we want just a little bit and there we go there's our star trail action